So tomorrow is a really big day. We are about to get the next generation of iPhones and genuinely, I cannot wait for them. Now there's going to be four different iPhones that are probably going to be announced as well as a ton of other products that are also going to be announced at the same time. Now some of these iPhones are probably going to be, I would say, some of the best selling iPhones of all time. I think the Pro Series is really going to go ahead and kind of flesh out a little bit better. First of all, with the two bottom tier iPhones, these are going to be the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Plus. We thought they were going to call it the Max, but the Plus makes so much more sense. They may still go with the Max or some other name, but personally, I think Plus is the great Greatest way to do it. They've always used the plus moniker for so many years, and I do think using the plus in this specific case makes a bunch of sense. Now, these iPhones are pretty much going to look exactly the same thing as the iPhone 13s. They're also going to have pretty much the same chipset and internals as well. There may be a jump in RAM, so we may be getting six gigabytes of RAM on these specific iPhones, but from everything we've been hearing and seeing, I don't think these are going to be the big jump in terms of one phone to the other. I think those are going to be more so for the pros. They're probably still going to have the Apple A15 Bionic chip inside as well. Same size displays, pretty much same size notches as well. I think there may be some improvements with Face ID, but other than that, there's really not going to be a super crazy difference between these two. But obviously we are going to be getting that plus model that is going to be bringing a 6.7 inch display. So these are going to be really good iPhones as well. I'm sure they're going to sell a lot, but the price tag is going to be interesting. From some reports, it's looking like the 14 is going to be $749 and the 14 Plus is going to be $849. Again, we don't know for a fact yet, but in my opinion, that could be something that's worthwhile that, you know, for cheaper priced iPhones, I think it's actually a pretty decent deal. Now on the other side with the Pros, this is where things are going to be taking up a humongous notch at. Now with the 14 Pro, this is probably going to be the biggest jump, and I think this is going to be one of the best selling Pro phones of all time. These phones are going to be having that whole punch and pill design, so it's no longer going to be having that, you know, notch, at least that's what the rumors are suggesting and that's going to be really cool the fact that we're going to be getting an iphone at this caliber you know it's going to be pretty awesome it's still the same promotion display as before as some people have rumored the camera also is going to be getting a little bit of a jump in terms of you know the ultra wide sensor but other than that same type of camera layout 4k 60 on the front and the back i'm hoping cinematic mode also got a little bit of an improvement and internally, this is going to be the bigger difference. The iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max are going to be having that Apple A16 bonding chip inside, which I think is going to be awesome. You know, having that type of capability is going to be really cool. And, you know, for one, I think that's going to be cool. I wish they brought it over to the, you know, iPhone 14s as well, but that's just a thing for a whole other topic. Now, the price tag is very interesting. So I don't know for a fact if this is what's going to be. It's either going to be $1149, then $1249 for the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, or they're going to stay at $1099 for the 14 Pro and then $1199 for the 14 Pro Max. Again, we don't know for a fact yet, but I'm sure that's probably what's going to be happening. I'm also assuming that all the 14s this year are going to be getting an increase in battery life, which I think is going to be awesome. I've seen tons of reports mention that for both series. So overall, I'm looking forward to these devices. I cannot wait. And this is pretty much a little bit of a glimpse of what we can expect tomorrow. So that pretty much covers that up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.